Hello everyone, this is William Armstrong. I just thought I'd show you that. Here's the part two of this this person known as Timizzy Richie contacting me on Facebook out of nowhere Monday at 8.56 p.m. And obviously, note my glasses are tinted with transitions lenses, so I have to quickly tilt my head down and look at my phone screen above my glasses due to my glasses have transitions lenses coating that will tint them dark in the sunlight only underneath UV light but it says here that this person says it's a process whereby you put a small amount of money and it comes back in 10 times your money back within some minutes and no BS because everyone get paid with my Bitcoin investing platform let me know through PayPal cash app or bank transfer if you send $100 you will get $1,000 payment back and more depends on your flip deposit amount and this person says fifty dollars to get five hundred, one hundred to get one thousand, two hundred to get two thousand, three hundred to get three thousand, four hundred to get four thousand, five hundred to get five thousand. And then the person says and you'll be getting your payment back in twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. This is all you have to do is to send any amount you wanted to invest with my ca to my cash app, and I will invest you that on my Bitcoin platform for profit generating. So after thirty seconds, I will credit you with my cash app. So hold on, let me go to something. I know this might be a mouthful for me to say, but this is actually what I want to point out. that These are cash flipping scammers that want to do cash flip and clearance fees. Highlighted in this lavender color up here from Google search results, it auto highlights what I click on from Google search. It says your scammers will claim they can flip your money, promising to increase your money first in the funds. Sometimes they call this a clearance fee or account verification. These scammers will accept your funds but never send you anything in return. If someone promises you free money in return for sending them a payment, it is a scam. There are no legitimate businesses that are flipping cash. They're all like these scammers. Cash App clearly states that if you get someone that tells you if you send them $50 to get $1,000 back, then it's a cash flipping scam attempt. It's essentially a scammer that want you to send them a small amount of money to get a large investment in return. If you do that, the scammers will take the money and block you and move on. They won't send you anything in return back. Like, these scammers do this through PayPal, Cash App, or any financial thing that they get their grubby little hands on. Lon Seidman at Lon.TV himself, he made a video recently about Facebook is full of scammers. Facebook is a complete cesspool of scams. Well, long story short, Lon Seidman's had scammers comment on a Facebook post he made on his public Facebook page, Lon.TV. And there were several scammers that pretended to be some of Lon's friends and family members. One scammer pretended to be Lon Seidman's wife in real life. One scammer pretended, or not pretended to be the wife, rather. One of the scammers pretended to be one of Lon Seidman's relatives that messaged his wife, tricking her into giving money, but Lon Seidman's wife realized that it was a scam. Lon Seidman's a YouTuber who makes YouTube videos for a living on Lon.TV on YouTube. I'll show you. Hold on for a second. This is what I was talking about. This is what Lawn.TV on his YouTube channel posted. Basically, he posts Facebook. He made a video, but he put in the comment or in the description saying, Facebook is totally overrun by fake accounts scamming people. Why aren't they doing anything about it? In this video, we take a look at some examples I've directly experienced and how Facebook did nothing to put a stop to it. On Lawn's website, we'll go to his blog called blog.lon.tv and here it is this is the video that Lon Seidman I give this is I, I'm gonna give him credit credit goes to Lon Seidman for this but I basically I'm gonna use Lon Seidman's blog article and read everything it says here in my latest video I take a deep dive into the troubling world of Facebook's rampant fraud fake accounts and scams most of what and I investigated here are based on my own experiences and observations. What prompted this investigation was an incident involving a friend whose car was stolen. After she posted about it on Facebook, her post was swarmed by scammers. A clear indication on how these predators prey on vulnerable, indi vulnerable individuals. Here's what a shoe of the comments looked like. 
right here you can see right there there's a scammer posting or someone a scammer referring to someone on Instagram a random account to try to get accounts back or something for stolen car down there the same thing from another scam fake profile lawn.tv made a honeypot post this incident prompted me to conduct an experiment I created a honeypot post on my Facebook page pretending to seek help for a hacked account the response was overwhelming and immediate with over two dozen scammers flocking to offer help all from fake accounts if these scammers are, con on con are contacted they almost will certainly demand money from their victims and then disappear that's true this experiment highlighted two critical issues with Facebook, the lack of adequate support for users with account problems and the platform's failure to enforce its own rules against fraudulent activities. When I reported a scam comment from Daniel from a Daniel Starvella to the Facebook, they did nothing about it, even after an appeal. This inaction allows fake accounts to proliferate, scamming more people without consequence. These scammers from these fake accounts are real, made from real people accounts demand people to go message someone on Instagram just to help get their account back, which is a segue to talk to more scammers, for innocent people to talk to more scammers upon more. Facebook threw their hands up in the saying, threw their hands up in the air telling Lon that there's nothing we can do about this because we use technology and human reviewers to process reports and identify content that goes against our community standards. In this case, we did not remove the content we reported. If you think you if you think we made a mistake, you can request a review of the decision within 180 days. We understand this might be upsetting. If you want to see less of Daniel on Facebook, you can unfollow or block them. Facebook is very stupid for allowing that. Hold on. Okay, it's sister. And that Daniel Starvella or Daniel Sarbella I reported, it turns out the fake account was made from images posted by an unsuspecting father and community volunteer from Australia. Facebook systems could not, could not very easily detect that photos from the victim were being stolen for a fake account, yet they do nothing about it. Meanwhile, this man's likeness is being used to steal from vulnerable Facebook users. But that's not all. In checking my recent friend requests, seven of the eight, seven of the eight top requests on my profile are all cloned accounts of friends of mine one of them cloned my uncle's account and tricked my wife into accepting his friend request. The scammer then began a chat with her where he was about to ask for money before she got wise to the scheme. The problem extends beyond simple scams. I discussed the disturbing trend of pig butchering schemes where lonely individuals lose hundreds of thousands of dollars to fake crypto investment schemes and the human trafficking linked to these scams. With Facebook apparently doing nothing to combat these scams, I believe education awareness are key. Resources like the AR AARP's Fraud Watch Network and the podcast The Perfect Scam are invaluable for understanding and avoiding scams. The YouTube channel Catfish by SocialCatfish.com is another excellent resource, particularly for understanding romance scams. Despite being the largest social media network with the largest number of vulnerable users, Facebook's efforts to address these problems is completely insufficient. The situation underscores the importance of staying vigilant and informed to safeguard ourselves and our loved ones in the digital world. That's all I have to say in this video, but Facebook is doing little to nothing to shut these fake accounts down, these sock puppet accounts that clone photos from people's real account and steal their identity on Facebook to trick people into giving away money that they can't get back. That's all I have to say. And this is William Armstrong signing out. Take care, and I'll see you next time, and bye-bye.